Rajesh Arjun, better known as June. I've been an artist for the past 20 plus years. I'm also a singer and a songwriter. Um, and I really love art. Art is something that I really love. I actually took a liking to art from a very young age. Um, used to sit around and look at my older brother who used to be drawing a lot. And I kind of like, always like to sit around him and look at what he's doing and always try to follow in suit. So that's where my actual love of art actually began. Well, actually, um, he didn't really follow through with the art. So I kind of like um, took over. He just, he had reached a certain level and he kind of like probably got bored. So I actually was so in love with the art. Well, more of the sketching and pencil drawing and stuff. I stuck with it and I am. Um, any little thing I saw, I would have took up a book and a pen and I started drawing. So I developed that skill over the years, never, never ever letting up. And that's how I actually became a full-time artist. Well, I realized um, from very small, I have this creativity that just, I just needed to get out. So it, I'm kind of blessed and you know, it, it's so great that I have these two medium that I could express myself, you know, through. And it, it's really a blessing. And um, I just love music and art. My two passions and I actually follow through and do the both of them. So when I left school, I actually immediately got into um, working with a guy who does science as a commercial artist. I first, that was actually my first experience with painting. I did some painted signs, you know, graphics on wall and stuff. And I was actually, it was natural to me. They were like really shocked at how easy I made it look because they like, that's their career. And I came and I just, it, it was natural. So I immediately fell into that field and I actually stuck there for as long as I can remember. So I actually started doing um, billboards and stuff, scaling, lettering. I um, did lettering from scratch, you know, and we I learned along the way a lot of stuff. And um, further on, I would also, technology kind of came in after, you know, so we, I also took advantage of that. I became a graphic artist also, self-taught, and I started um, doing the, doing the um, computer cut vinyls and with layout vinyl stuff and banners and digital prints and stuff. So that's another field I went into and I applied myself and um, it worked out pretty good over the years. I've been working with a company for the past almost 20 years and I finally decided um, that I need a break now. Kind of a, like a retirement you could say. So I went full time into what, doing what I love the most which is like painting and doing um, artwork, sketching and portraits and stuff. So I actually um, now have the time to sit down and do my own pieces for myself. Because as I'm um, as working for people and I get jobs, like you get jobs here and there, and people actually hire me to paint stuff for them. But the time wasn't all mine because I had a eight to five job. So. Whenever I had time, I would do it, but now I have real time on my hands so I could look forward to creating more pieces. I've already started, I have a couple pieces to show. And now I'm actually looking forward to doing more personalized stuff for myself. Yeah, I, um, I do portraits for people. A long time I actually have been doing that. I, I would draw um, people around, you know, you would start with, like, with your siblings. You would draw people you see, then people will eventually come to you and say, you know what, um, draw me, you know, let me pose and you could. So, um, I've, uh, actually, it was natural also. I became better and better and it actually became really, really quite good. And um, plenty of people give me jobs to do portraits and stuff, painted and pencil-wise sketches. And so um, that's become a natural and it's actually pretty neat. I, I love to do it. I enjoy doing it. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't really call it um, a retirement, you know, it actually is like a new chapter. I'm trying to, you know, I'm entering a new chapter of my life. 
and this is will be this will be more centered around me and my passion which is painting and stuff so in the future you could look for me um i'm actually with the art society of Trinidad and tobago so i'll be doing exhibitions next year with them um well i'm creating pieces right now and putting on display um using media facebook social media to um, get most of my stuff out there I hope to actually make a big impact in the art world. Now as I have the time, I'll be doing more detailed work and people always compliment me for having this keen um, eye for detail. And always, any of my pieces, you'll actually see the detail that I actually, I pay close attention to detail. And I don't, um, I actually like to kind of perfect what I'm doing. So if I'm not pleased with something, I'll go back at it again and make sure that when it's finished, I'm fully well pleased. My OMG moment. Um, but in that, I have a few, quite a few. But you know, basically, a moment that would stand out, um, catch you by surprise, I guess. So, if um, if I could go back to at least one memorable one that I also um, always remember to the back of my mind. There was um, my niece actually had put me onto a woman, and actually I never met the woman, but she. Um, it was her birthday and she wanted a gift to give the woman and she told me that the woman isn't married, doesn't have any children, children or anything, so she actually have her pets, which is like two dogs and a cat and those were like the closest thing to her. So she, as a, as a birthday gift, she wanted me to draw a portrait of the woman's um, pets because she really, really um, love her pets. They were like her only family. So she gave me a picture and I did the painting. It was a painting and um, I gave it to her. Now. The most amazing thing, she called me and was like, um, I have something to tell you, the woman was really, really pleased. She started to cry when she saw the painting. So I never saw the, the animals, you know, um, personally, I never met the woman, but to actually do something that could touch someone so much that you know their emotions run high and I mean that's basically the feeling an artist get of accomplishment when you could touch somebody you know make make a certain moment um, in their life just sit still for a second and you know you could wow them for that, like that that was really an OMG moment for me it kind of kind of felt really really good and she sent her gratitude and she was so amazed as a gift and you know. That was really, really cool to me. So my next step in my career path um, in life, actually, I would be doing um, a lot of paintings. I actually am um, going to, um, by the end of September, I should be starting a degree for fine arts at, at UE, the University of the West Indies. And um, I just want my work to be out there, you know, for people to see and, um, Hopefully, could touch people the the work that I do because I get real good reactions from people who see my work. They was like, they like really really surprised and like really you did that, you know? It's so amazing and that as an artist, that is all you need to continue doing what you do. Just to see the surprise and the and the expression on people's faces and people who appreciate your work, that is really really that's what actually give me the thrill of everything and make me do what I do. And I'm also um, furthering some studies into music also. And well, those are my two passions, music and art. And um, I hope that um, I could do some good art in the future. And at least everyone can have a website. I have a website. People could go into um, June Art Studio. It's also on Facebook. So I'm on, on Google. I'm on Google also. Let's type up the name June Art Studio. Yeah, J W O N Art Studio, and you'll see most of my stuff and everything you need to, everything you need to know. And so thanks a lot. I hope I could um, do some more great work to come to show you guys.